welcome back to another episode. As you can hear, we're doing another wedding. Um, I know this family, so it's gonna be a fun night. I think there's gonna be a lot of hooligans, a lot of hooligans, a lot of a lot of crazy kids. Uh, just set up. We got one on each side of the stage tonight. One speaker. So that's one speaker, one light, and then uh, another speaker. And tonight I brought an extra light just to just cause, just cause I felt like it. So kind of your typical setup. Everything's blue, and I got the lights blue, and you know all the kind of the normal stuff. Uh, cause it kind of matches. Yeah, cool. Take you over here to show you the cupcakes and stuff. But uh, anyway, I'm just kind of waiting now. They got all the pictures and stuff done. Look at those cupcakes. I want one of those right there. The strawberry ones. Looks nice. Anyway. They're already done taking most of the pictures. They're getting ready. We're doing the ceremony. Um, so I think they're just kind of outside hanging out. But uh, we're going to do the ceremony and then we'll do the reception later and all that. So I'll probably take a few clips of that stuff. So, anyway, that's what we're doing tonight. Another night. Another, another dance. Sort of, for the most part. They're doing a they're doing a cocktail hour next door in the other smaller room, and they are resetting for the reception now. Oh, my bad. What did you do? You did something. There we go. Okay. Anyway, I always I always forget about that button. Anyway, I say anyway a lot. Anyway, anyway. Um, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> so, they're resetting the room now, and uh, then we'll continue with the uh, reception party. I found it very DJ-ish of you. Yeah, I know. And then we will continue. And then, and then for the rest of the night. Then we go to uh, Parquet. 
China, not really. Not really. See this lady over here? She's a photographer and she has really expensive cameras and she's weird. <laughs> but she can't hear me. <laughs> she makes fun of my tiny camera. She has big cameras. It's because she has big cameras. Watch it. See, I, I was over here talking crap about you, oh. and you Why? couldn't hear me, because you make fun of my tiny camera. Oh, it is really tiny. I just could put it on a drone and fly it around this place, but... I, just, I was just telling her we need to buy a drone. Janet would be so good. It I had a little... She, it's a little she drone. She told me once that she doesn't allow drones in here, because she knew I was thinking it. I was going to get a little one. They had the little DJ Spark. <laughs> See? I'm telling you, we should have done it. We should do it. We should so get a drone. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm just not gonna tell her. Just, just shoot it up. <laughs> right? <laughs> Alright, so uh, the grand entrance is done, the toasts are done, the cake cutting's done. Uh, basically, we got a couple dances and that's it. And then we'll be uh, partying the rest of the night. Uh, I gotta say, Probably one of the best, best man speeches I've ever heard. Uh, I should have got it on camera, but I kind of like to leave that to the professional video and, and uh, all that stuff. So, uh, but it was good. It was really good. Take my word for it. So uh, anyway, everybody's just kind of eating and hanging out right now. I'll give you a quick pan of the room here. So anyway, so uh, hopefully here. But probably the next 45 minutes will be uh, dancing, dancing away the night. Some pretty women. Lord, I'm still right there with them. Oh, shit. Singing above the crowd. I'm gonna make the contention. Sometimes I feel like Jesse James. Still trying to make a name. No, nothing's gonna change what I am. I was a young troubadour. When I wrote it on the song, I'll be an old troubadour when I'm gone. Here it comes. You ready? You guys ready? Well, the truth about a mirror is that a damn old mirror. Tell the whole truth is don't show what's deep inside or read between the lines and it's really no reflection of my youth sometimes I feel well anyway I say anyway a lot 
about that last night. Yeah, we did. Hey, so it's Sunday and we are gonna go eat, right? Yeah. Yeah. We uh, dropped the kids off at Mama's house and this car in front of me is driving so freaking slow and we're gonna go eat at a barbecue joint. I consider this Illinois barbecue because I don't I don't see it being really like I guess I guess we're spoiled because I I had like a lot of Texas barbecue and then we go to St. Louis all the time where there's St. Louis barbecue you know sugar fire yeah and that's like real barbecue but this this is like I don't know to me it's just like somebody cooked in their kitchen kind of barbecue and smoked yeah, it's like electric smoker smoked it's not no anyway. Since we have like uh, a catered meal like every weekend, this place does catering and their food's okay. I mean, I'll, I'll give it to them. It's okay. Maybe it's better at the restaurant. I don't know. But we're going to go to their restaurant and try it. I like the catering. Yeah, Kayla likes her catering. I don't know. I guess I guess we'll see if it changes my mind. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm, 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 a, I'm a it bored. It's delicious. Yeah. And if Tabby liked it. Tabby didn't like Sugar Fire. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm not gonna lie, if you do not like Sugar Fire Smokehouse in St. Louis, you don't know barbecue. And if you, if you go there and you have something you don't care for, go back and try something else. Because Kayla did that too. Kayla had, what do you have, the, the brisket cheesecake? Cheese, did it out of that? <laughs> brisket cheese steak. It was good. And it was good, but it wasn't really like the best. Well, I liked it, but then I had that portobello thing that last time. That was gross. Oh. But then, then, you, then I you, had ribs. Yeah, then you tried the ribs and you were like, oh my god, the ribs are fantastic. They were great. So it's probably more just along your taste line of what you want. So you gotta kind of try some things. I guess. I don't know. I get the same thing every time. I was gonna say, what have you tried? Yeah, I get the same thing every time and it has like a mixture of meats and stuff and sauces and it's freaking fantastic. But like, when Max doesn't eat all his smoked turkey sandwich or whatever, I usually end up eating it because it's freaking delicious. I've had their ribs before. That's how I found the place. Yeah. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's go uh, Let's go try this place. Hopefully we get there. We're almost out of gas. Oops. We've been out of gas since we left Momos. All right, so we're here. Kayla's somewhat here getting ready. It's called Wits. Wits Barbecue. Wits Smokehouse. Here in Effingham. Out by the lake. You ready? Yep. It's a nice building though. I mean really. True. Look at the food they got. They got like, oh they got nachos. Yeah. Okay, we got our nachos and our um, brisket nachos. They're pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Brisket nachos. Yeah. So what'd you get? Pulled pork. Pulled pork. Ribs. Yep. Macaroni. Mm -hmm. Mashed taters. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Got the uh, creamy potato salad. Macaroni. I'm assuming that's a meatloaf, smoked meatloaf, yeah. and brisket. I'm not so sure about the brisket. The brisket's not supposed to be like pulled pork. Hmm. But we'll try. Alright, so, honest opinion of the uh, Witt Smokehouse. What do you think? It's got a lot of hair. That's not really the honest opinion of the smokehouse, though. I thought it was decent. I thought it was okay. I like the catering better. Yeah, I think the catering was better. Now, 
The macaroni with cheese was pretty good. It was kind of almost craft macaroni and cheese, but a little tastier. Like they just added some Velveeta and that was it. But it was good. Not bad. The noodles were definitely different. Yeah. Um, creamy potato salad. It was like store bought. It wasn't that great. I was kind of disappointed in it. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the meatloaf. It was like a hamburger patty. Kind of odd. It was like a smoked hamburger patty. But it was tasty. I mean, it was actually pretty good. Um, the brisket. The brisket was the one thing that I was kind of disappointed in. You should have just not got the brisket. I know. Here's the thing. You set yourself up for failure. I did. The brisket, like, I like brisket. Brisket's my one of my favorite things to eat. This brisket was like pulled pork. It wasn't really brisket. It was like brisket it was should be pulled brisket. Yeah, it should be sliced, not pulled. And that's, I don't know, to me, like, it just wasn't, the flavor was okay, but it just wasn't brisket. Like, when it was on the nachos, it was okay that way. But when you just got it, it's like this just lump of pulled brisket. It just wasn't brisket. And I was extremely disappointed in it at that point. Flavor, like I said, flavor was okay, but it was just, I couldn't eat it almost. Because I was just like, ugh, it's like, it's just driving me nuts. I feel like I'm just eating pulled pork and, uh, I'd, like I told you in the restaurant, I said that pulled pork to me is like the basic barbecue there is. It's just like, that's the basic level of, of barbecue, and I'm not... But it's delicious. I, I like it, don't get me wrong, but if I'm going to go get barbecue, and I'm, I want... I, like I said, I, I lived in Texas for a long time. I like brisket, and when I get brisket, I want sliced brisket, and I want it to taste like brisket. And that's barbecue to me. But if you come up here to the north and everybody gets ribs and pulled pork, it just seems kind of basic barbecue. Is that a good way to say it? <laughs> sure. To me, I guess. Me, I mean, I'm the kind of person like a paper towel is a paper towel. A loaf of bread is a loaf of bread. Barbecue is barbecue. <sighs> See, I'm just, I'm a little more pickier than that when it comes to barbecue. But it was good. I mean, all around it was good. I mean, you, you, you know, if you want to come up here and try it or if anybody's actually watching this and wants to try it hasn't been here you know it's worth a shot i think we'll go back again sometime try something different um i probably won't get the brisket again because <laughs> i'm disappointed in it but uh other than that i mean it was it was fine mm -hmm. the service was okay it wasn't really busy or nothing yeah so I mean, it's pretty relaxed environment yeah so anyway that's it for us today or this week i guess oh you gonna see the groceries <sighs> nobody cares about groceries that's the most fun of the entire day. Okay, how about this? If something happens, we'll film it. But more than likely, you're not going to see anything else past this. Because we did a, a big wedding last night, and it was a lot of fun, and I took some video of that. And then uh, I figured this we could just add this in because we haven't been here. And I think we need to do some more barbecue joints on the channel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to diet. so. I'm not dieting. It's a lifestyle change. That sounds you really can't change the lifestyles from barbecue. <laughs> you don't you don't go barbecue and then go back to vegan or whatever. No, you go barbecue and you stay barbecue. I eat more meat now than I ever did in my entire life because of you. That's what she said. Anyway. <laughs> that is not what she okay, said. Okay, that's it. That's the end of it. That's the end of this vlog. We'll see you guys next week. Another episode of Worm Dangler TV. <laughs> What's our channel? Uh, Worm... Worm hanging, worm dangling, worm dangler TV. Hanging worm. Hanging worm TV. <laughs> okay, see you guys.